He might have. Depression water system is being armed. Yeah. Oh, one minute. Yeah. But oxygen and liquid hydrogen fill and drain valves are closed. Forty seconds, handing off to Atlantis' computers at T minus thirty-one, T minus thirty-five, thirty-three. T minus thirty-one seconds due to a failure. And we have a failure. Grand lock sequencer. The God three track system. NTDSP. Go ahead. Before we need guys to go do the verification per the LCC, please. All right, see you next. SC Max, the LCC says we need to verify using a camera, and we're positioning camera 62 right now. Okay, let us know as soon as 62 is swung over and you can verify LCC for GDA retract, please. I keep They're doing this on purpose. Yeah, well, I'm glad there's a whole lot of image stabilization. The GDA has fully retracted. Yes. For our free plan. It's back. Be back. We verify uh, retracted. Yeah. Verify that you're fully retracted for the, uh, the instructions that we're being now. So we can go correct. That's correct. All right. And NTD? And NTD, STD concurs. They set aside the requirements of GSU 13 pre package and CIM go. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. I heard all that. Concur. Press on. <laughs> all right. Very good. NTDSP. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I need to turn to the ELS to mass to clear this whole place. Very good. And ELS, you have concurrence. Go. Thank you. That is the work. Thank you. Pilot, no one has complete. Thank you. Do we have any work? All right, guys. Folks are uh, locked in their whole time in three minutes and 16 seconds. <laughs> NTD, CTLS, one, two, one, two, we're ready to go. All right, very good. And launch director, with that cleanup, we're going to go ahead and proceed. Yes, sir, please do. All right, and all personnel, we are going to pick up the clock here momentarily. NTLS, you can resume the clock on your mark. I copy that. Top on clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. He might have. And off to Atlantis' computers has occurred. Auto rocket booster nozzle steering check and work. 20. No. Firing chain is armed. 15. Go for main engine start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. All three engines up and burning. Two, one, zero, and lift off. The final lift off is at the Roger and roll, Atlantis. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. 40 seconds into the flight. Now revving up, standing by for the final up call.
Already 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. One minute, 40 seconds into the flight. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? Right there. Right there. There it is. Oh, oh. Where is it? Atlanta's traveling over 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles well, downrange. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. I'm going to punch Chris. Don't bring him. Oh, Paul, grab this shit. Solid rocket booster separation, guidance now converging. The main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlanta's already traveling 3,200 miles an hour, 35 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange. The propulsion officer reports the orbital maneuvering system engines have ignited. Atlanta's kicking on its afterburners for one minute, 23 seconds for the final phase of powered flight. Atlanta, two engine trial. And call from Capcom. Up contingency, your in plane plus 230 on the e page. No comm VIs and you're ready to copy. Okay, in plane plus 230, go ahead. Press to ATO, 10.8. Press to Miko, 14.7. Press ATO 10.8, press to Miko 14.7. That's a good read back at last. Because of the slightly late launch time, Capcom Barry Wilmore reading up to pilot Doug Curley the updated work boundaries for Atlanta, which is flying on the singular power of its three liquid fuel main engines, draining a half a ton of fuel per second from the shuttle charge fuel tank. Three and a half minutes into the flight, Atlanta's traveling 4,200 miles an hour, 54 miles in altitude, already 120 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Three good main engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells for Atlanta. Atlanta, negative returner. That call from Captain Barry Wilmore indicating that we're too high in altitude, too far downrange to return to the launch site in the event of an engine failure. However, uh -huh. the three three engines oh, performing perfectly. Four minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlanta is currently traveling 5,500 miles an hour, 2 miles in altitude, almost 200 miles downrange. Four minutes of power flight remaining. Atlanta is speeding straight as an hour of shorter speed with the International Space Station Sunday morning. Coming up on the five minute mark. Atlanta's now traveling 6,500 miles an hour, 66 miles an altitude, 250 miles downrange. Atlantis, press to ATO. Press to ATO. That call indicating we can make minimal orbital targets in the event of an engine failure. All three engines continue to function normally. Atlantis will begin its full roll to head this position forward. Five and a half minutes into the flight. Atlantis traveling 7,700 miles an hour, 315 miles downrange. Atlantis, single engine, off three. Yeah, if you will. Guidance officer and control confirms that the computers are commanding the I want to keep recording just to hear the, the audio. Thank you. We've rolled to a heads-up position to provide better communications with the tracking data relay 
satellite system in the Atlanta of Hill. 20 seconds in the This is Aaron after his techno geek situation. A little frazzled, but he's hanging in there. Atlanta crash to Nico. That call indicates that we can make our normal orbital cutoff target for the event of an engine failure. However, all three main engines continue to function normally. Bergie, the front back. That call indicating uh, that we will be in good shape uh, for the uh, orientation in the lab. Guess we're going to find out. Photography is also made in the cutoff. Now seven minutes into the flight. That's crazy. We're going to have an arch, an angle, to get into orbit. One minute and 20 seconds till main engine cutoff. Atlanta is traveling 12,000 miles an hour. We're going to go grab the seats. And then they're coming back. Engines will uh, be throttling down once again. The minimum stress on the shuttle and support crew members to that of three times the effective gravity. Atlanta is currently traveling at a speed of more than four miles a second. One minute of powered flight remaining for Atlanta. Might be in my bag somewhere. Huh? Might be in my bag somewhere. Three good main engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Approaching the eight minute mark into the flight. Atlanta is now traveling more than 15,000 miles an hour. minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, standing by for main engine cutoff. That'll be followed a few seconds later by the separation of the external fuel tank. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. For the last time, the space shuttle's main engines have fallen silent. And the shuttle flips in the final chapter of a story, 30-year adventure. Now standing by for external tank separation. Atlantis off the tank. Too many pockets. Commander Chris Ferguson will be maneuvering Atlantis now into an orientation to enable Sandy Magnus to capture the digital still imagery of the external fuel tank as it drifts away. That is not required. Your preliminary on two pig, 37 minutes. 47 minutes, uh, no 01 required, thank you.